Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I just recorded about, oh, I don't know, five or ten minutes of me talking and my camera wasn't on. So, anyhow, good morning. That's my draw for today. Um, just going to chat with you a little bit. Maybe I can even condense it since I, uh, since I chatted for what seemed like a long time on the last one. Let's see. What have I got to tell you this morning? Um, it's Friday, September 28th. Um, full moon is on Sunday. And um, a few things to talk about. Um, first of all, I'll sort of um, use a story uh, from well, what happened last night. Okay, Yesterday evening, I had a great evening out with a couple of friends that live over in San Francisco. And they came over here, and we went and got some pizza, and came back to the house, and had drinks, and it was it was like really fun, really fun, really great, supportive, positive people, and it was very neat. They are also photo nerds, like I am. Actually, he, my friend David, is even more well, like way more of a nerd than I am, just from a technical standpoint. Anyhow, <clears throat> I do a lot of Polaroids, like these, using my old. Um, automatic 100, which uses the, uh, the peel apart kind of film. That this is the positive, and, and you, once you pull it out, it, it activates <clears throat> the, uh, the chemicals that are in here, and then when the time's up, when it's done developing, you peel it off. Uh, for a lot of my artwork, especially my, my black and white stuff that I use to make negatives for cyanotypes, <clears throat> I, I, use the, um, I use the goops from those like this. And that's the way the, the black and white ones, so I just scan them straight. The color ones are a little bit more difficult to use. You can clear them using bleach and actually end up with a, a color negative. Um, Sometimes you can scan them. I managed to scan one this week. There was enough image left, but but typically they're they're dark like this. So when I was out with David and Chen, um, we were talking about my Polaroids. And by the way, B and H Photo Online has packs of this Polaroid film uh, FP100, which is what I used uh, for this. So anybody that's watching that uses Polaroids, go to B&H. They have a, the, um, a bunch of this that expired this month, which it's still fine, uh, for like $6.89 a pack, which is a steal. So I, I ordered 10 packs of them, so I would have plenty to experiment with because what I was told last night is that the peeled off parts can be used to make transfers because when you first peel it off it's wet you know it still has the emulsions the chemicals and if you take it and you put it on a piece of paper and you rub you get another image now this one because the original image was so dark you really you really can't see only barely a little bit of this image in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some experimentation. I think it would make really nice little prints of botanicals, leaves and flowers and things like that. Um, something that could be seen in a more abstract kind of way, just to have little little prints to frame. And you know, if they're good enough, I could I could sell them. But anyhow, so that was <clears throat> that was a great discovery. I love I love my community. I love. The people that I've met online <clears throat> with whom I've become good friends, and it's especially great when you can get together with each other. So it was, it was so awesome. And the photographic community on Flickr, too, it's like the creative community there. It's all about sharing. Nobody, nobody you know, keeps their, their techniques a secret. Everybody is just really willing to share, and it's just very, very awesome. So that was one thing. So the next thing is that I actually did get two more pieces into another show at the Target Gallery in Alexandria. It is going to be in conjunction with Photo Week DC, just like um, the, uh, the, the alt process show that I was in last year. 
the theme of this one is called upheaval and uh, they were suggested in the calls for entry that whatever that means to you so because I've gone through so much in the past several months um, I just like just major major emotional uh, work uh, I had taken some pretty I would say kind of dark it made some really somewhat dark imagery out of, of part of my process and, and two of these were chosen to be in the show <laughs> and I hadn't you know I submitted kind of not even really thinking about it too much I didn't want to think about it that's that's the thing about making these submissions it's like it's best to just submit it and let go because a lot of times it just comes down to the, the subjectivity of the of the juror what the juror likes and this particular juror you know like this and so this is the the fifth show I will have gotten work into this year so you know and that was without this, that was with going through crap and not you know not really trying very hard so so that I, I feel very good about that so that's going to be uh, from November 3rd through December 2nd at the Target Gallery, which is in the Torpedo Factory in Old Town Alexandria. And I will, I will talk more about that as the time gets closer. Hopefully I can go out for the opening. And who knows, I may be out there for more than the opening coming up, but I'm not going to talk about that yet. Um, so that's the next thing. The last thing I think I'm going to talk about is a new book. Well, actually, I've gotten a bunch of new books recently. But um, anyway, this is the newest one. It's all about bitters. Now, if you, if you are into uh, food and drink, and in this case particularly drink, um, like um, cocktails and things like that, bitters, bitters are often uh, an accent. Uh, you know, you have your basic elements, which would be, you know, gin, bourbon, um, vodka, that sort of thing. And then you have, you know, your flavorings. It could be juices. It could be uh, liqueurs. And then you have these, these are kind of the, the accents, the bitters. Um, and they're made, so my daughter, my daughter showed me this. We got together last week and she is now working at Google. So congratulations, Laurel. Very exciting. Um, but she was very excited to show me this book and it was really cute because we hadn't spent time like that together in, in quite a long time. And she just sat with me as I looked through the book, pointing out the recipes that she, that, that she liked. And they have recipes to make the bitters and then they have recipes for the cocktails in which you use the bitters. So to make the bitters, <clears throat> you get all kinds of herbs, a lot of times roots. Um, like for instance, this one has a uh, lemon, lemon peel, cardamom, coriander, gentian root, dried hops, peppercorns, lemongrass, and it has that, that's for Meyer lemon bitters. And then all those are uh, infused in um, high proof, uh, whether it's it's rum or vodka or you know depending on the the type of bitter it is, it, it depend you know that that dictates. Um, what kind of alcohol you infuse it in. So, um, so then, so we had lunch together and then we went to um, a place called Rainbow Grocery in San Francisco. They have a pretty good selection of herbs and spices and she got, she got quite a few. They had quite a few there that she needed. She did have to end up getting, I think it's cinchona bark, which is actually what's used to make quinine. Um, she got that from a Mexican um, grocery or shop or something like that. So she's making her own bitters, and I like I love infusing things, and I love flavors and playing with flavors. So, um, you know, it's it's not that different than making a tincture. <laughs> and in fact, bitters were I think frequently used as digestives. That's why all the herbs and stuff. But anyhow, so so I got that, and I'm gonna experiment with um, making some of those. So I think that's about it. I know I'm like spitting out a whole lot all at once and I hope it's coherent. Sometimes I wonder. Um, but I wanted to check in, uh, tell you about, you know, tell you uh, about the transfers, if anybody has an old Polaroid and does that kind of work, um, and about the show, and about my new book, and um, Things are going okay. 
Uh, energy feels pretty good, still up and down. I still have some hard moments, but you know, that's life. Huh? Everybody does. Uh, so I hope you're all doing well and we'll have a good weekend and we'll have a great uh, full moon Sunday and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.